In the mood for brisket but don't want to lose any sleep? Get that same hearty flavor in much less time with these easy to make smoked Texas style beef short ribs coming up. Hey, welcome back to Adrenaline Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're smoking up some delicious beef short ribs using the Slow and Sear and Kettle Grill. And just like always, I can put all the show notes as well as the full recipe for you in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. This recipe works great with beef back ribs as well as beef short ribs. These cuts also come from different parts of the cow and so what's most important to us is that uh, the meat is between the bones for beef back ribs and the meat is on top of the bone for beef short ribs. Short ribs are meatier than beef back ribs so they're usually more desirable among pit masters and short ribs are what we're cooking today. To prepare our short ribs we're going to trim off uh, any of the thick fat and silver skin that is on top. This will help the rub that we apply later form a nice bark during the cooking process. Unlike pork ribs, don't bother removing the membrane from the back of the rib if it's still attached because the meat could fall off during the cook. After trimming is done, we're gonna dry brine our short ribs by applying half a teaspoon of kosher salt for every pound of meat. This both seasons the meat as well as helps retain juices. Once you have them salted, you're gonna cover them up and place them in the fridge for a minimum of two hours, but preferably overnight. So we dry brined these short ribs last night, and you can see the surface has darkened slightly, indicating the salt has penetrated into the short ribs. And we're now ready to apply our barbecue rub. Today we're using Meathead's Big Bad Beef Rub, which adds a lot of flavor and a little kiss of heat to these ribs. You can check out the description below for all the ingredients, and if you pay careful attention, you'll notice we've added a little bit of cumin to the rub, which we feel really puts that that Texas in the Texas beef ribs. Now that our ribs are all prepared, we're gonna get our slow and sear set up using our low and slow lighting method. So our grill is all set up for cooking between 225 and 250 degrees. We did this by lighting about a dozen briquettes uh, with a starter cube in the corner of the slow and sear. Once those coals were fully lit, we then filled the remainder of the slow and sear with unlit briquettes, as well as a couple chunks of hickory wood for smoking on top. We also added one quart of hot water to the water reservoir uh, for the generation of steam during the cook. This humid environment stabilizes temperatures during low and slow cooks and helps the beef pick up more of that smoke flavor. You'll also notice that we ran our great thermometer wires through the top vents to help minimize air leakage around the lid, which will help maintain low cooking temperatures. And with our grill ready to go, it's now time to get our short ribs onto the grill. Because short ribs are so thick, we're able to actually place our leave-in thermometer into one of the ribs to monitor the progress of the cook. Once we have our meat and pit probes in place, we're gonna go ahead and begin smoking. Our ribs have been smoking for three hours and we know they're not done yet, but I do wanna open the lid and show you what they look like. You can see that the bark is coming along nicely and there's even a bit of bone pullback, uh, but when we poke into the meat, it's still a little tough, so we know they need more time. When they're done, they'll be tender like butter when we poke into them. There's no need to flip or rotate these ribs, so let's get the lid back on and continue cooking. Our ribs have now been cooking for just over five hours and our leave-in thermometer is showing us that our ribs have now hit uh, just above 200 degrees. So let's take a look and probe for tenderness. You can see that when we poke our ribs with our probe, it goes in and out like it's in butter, and so you know that these ribs are done. And as they each get done, we'll take them off the grill. These ribs are done, and so you can either go ahead and dig right in, uh, or if they came off the smoker a little bit early, uh, you can hold or rest them uh, by wrapping them in a, a double layer of tin foil and then placing them into a faux cambro. Uh, a faux cambro really is just a fancy name for a room temperature cooler. Making a faux cambro is pretty simple. Basically, we wrap our ribs in double layer of foil and then wrap the foiled ribs heavily in towels and then place all of that in a room temperature or warm cooler. You can let the ribs hold in the cooler for up to four hours or when the meat gets below 140 degrees. Also, if you leave the meat probe in while you're wrapping, it's easy to monitor the temperature. This cambro process will help further tenderize your meat. And because there is no exact amount of time that you have to rest your beef ribs in a cambro, it really just means that you get to eat when you want to. And speaking of eating, our ribs have been in our cambro for just under an hour, so we're gonna pull them out and get them ready for the taste test.
So our short ribs were smoked until they were probe tender. Then we placed them uh, in our Canberra for about an hour just to help them continue to tenderize. And now the only thing left to do is to give them a taste. Here we go. Wow, this looks awesome. Mmm. That is delicious. That is awesome, guys. They're perfectly tender, and you can see the result of that dry rind step as juices are running through the meat. Also, check out this incredible smoke ring that we have. That rub that we use has formed a nice bark on it, and it's just packed full of flavor, and, and that beefiness is coming through. These, these ribs are just, uh, they're just amazing, guys. Tender, juicy, and full of beef flavor, these Texas-style smoked short ribs are sure to deliver the great taste and flavor of brisket without that time investment. Hey, if you like what we're doing on this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as leave a comment down below on how your beef ribs turned out. I'm Jabin with Adrenaline Barbecue Company, where we didn't invent the kettle, we perfected it. See you next time.